And we're back to CapCut. Let me show you how the motion tracking works. Let's just say we want to have this fish right here. We're going to use the default layout. I'm going to use an arrow sticker, but you can add this motion tracking to basically any of these stickers. Let me rotate that slightly and make it smaller. And now I want the arrow to follow the motion. You can see it gets a little bit out of frame. Make sure to select the sticker in the timeline. And then you have this tracking option right here. We'll use motion track. Position this new field that should pop up. It's yellowish onto the object that moves. Just keep the defaults. So we want to have both scale and distance active. It's a little bit of a hit and miss here and there. So if I resize that correctly, might be lucky. Let me try. And we're not lucky, it loses it already. So if that happens, just cancel it and then try again. It's important to be at the start position, none motion tracking. Let me keep this box to a square and I try once more using start. And now it looks better. So as I've said, you have to try it maybe a couple of times as it's a hit and miss. But in this case, we were fine. Here the fish vanishes, so well, let me cut that short and I'll add a fade out. And now I'll roll the clip. And now you can see this arrow follows the movement somewhat well and then it vanishes. It's not perfect due to the limitations of CapCut, but as it's a one-click option, it's not bad either. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.